Well, here's to the first day of the rest of my life. <laughs> Y'all know I'm dramatic, but. guys and welcome back to Jenny's journey today 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 I am finally starting as a pediatric nurse practitioner of the after hours children's urgent care that I think I may have probably did tell you guys about but I am starting oh my gosh I just was thinking I did tell you guys but I told you guys in clips that are now on one of my hard drives that I cannot get my computer to read. Oh my gosh. And I also recorded four registered nurse videos for you guys. I told you guys they are coming. I did record them. I just hadn't had time to edit them and upload them yet. And all of that footage is on that hard drive too. I'm just, I'm hoping to take it somewhere this week to see if they can recover the footage on it. I did take it to Best Buy as you guys know and the hard drive was ruined so I have to re-record all those videos. If not, I don't know what I'm going to do. But but today, 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 or tonight, 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 I am going to be starting at the Urgent Care tonight and I'll be learning the new charting system. The charting system has changed over from when I was working there or when I was precepted there as a student. So I'm going to be working with one of the doctors of the practice and she's going to um, train me on a new system and um, so that I can formally um, meet her and get to know her um, as one of my colleagues. Um, but I was getting ready for work and I was like oh they're gonna be mad at me if I don't show them like what I'm doing so um like I said this is the place that I did my um all if not most if not all most of my 500 hours that I have um that you have to have in order to sit for your board certification exam um I did most of my hours at um one of the locations the location that I'm going to today is one that I haven't been to yet but um, yeah so I was packing my bags getting my scrubs ready um if you hear the dryer and I hope you can hear me um if you hear the dryer um getting the wrinkles out I hate ironing but I'll be getting the wrinkles out my scrubs and you never feel the way I feel. You don't know if my love is real. Baby, listen to me. Alrighty, and just like that, we're all changed. My mask. Um, I'm going to I'm going to take my lab coat from school just because I haven't um, gotten my lab coat from the clinic yet. They will be providing me with a lab coat with my name and um, credentials and things on it, which I think is pretty cute and cool. And I mean, really, I don't really have much else to say besides let's go. And I will see you guys in the next clip. Hi, you guys. Of course, I am super early because you guys know I love to be early. And um, I am, you know, going somewhere new that I haven't been to before. So, you know, I, I, I just like to be early and like to be on time if and when I can. I think I was tired and I was sleeping tight when I was at home. But now that I've left the house and I am here waiting to meet the... Um, the doctor of the practice, I am getting nervous. Um, I don't want to be nervous. I, I'm praying for a really great night. Um, they are back to their regular hours, which is 6 to 11, Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. It's after hours urgent care. Um, yeah, but I did um, want to just take this time to talk about finding employment as a newly licensed um, and certified graduate nurse practitioner. 
um, especially when you've specialized, you are as specialized as we are as pediatric nurse practitioners. Um, it can be very difficult to find a job and I um, never want to give you guys any false hope, any false information here on my channel. Um, and I think now that I have been back home now for a few weeks and looking for full-time employment so I do have this job and I just wanted to explain that it's not full-time employment it's an after hours um, so I am in the um, search for a full-time position as a pediatric nurse practitioner and um, it can be difficult and before anyone gets in the comments and say well why didn't you become a family nurse practitioner um, because becoming a family nurse practitioner does not um, for me, I only want to work with pediatrics. So let me just say it that way. I only want to work with pediatrics. I don't want to work with adults. So if I were to become an FMP, yes, there are more job opportunities, but there are more wide array of job opportunities, meaning I can work with adults. I, I mean, I, you can do anything as an FMP pretty much. And that's not what I wanted to do. I would still, if I were an FMP, be looking for a pediatric position. So I would be in the same situation the same boat that I'm in right now um, so I just want to clear that up because I know a lot of people ask well you know which should I do I personally think um, depending on the population you want to work with if you don't mind working with adults and doing whatever FMP job you can find then go ahead and become an FMP but if you like working with kids become a pediatric nurse practitioner if you're um, a neonatal ICU nurse and you love being a neonatal ICU nurse you could look into becoming a neonate neonatal nurse practitioner um, yeah my battery is about to die I just wanted to give that bit of information and I will let you guys know how tonight goes. Yeah. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Stuck in the past watching videos of us. I have been trying to get rid of your stuff But voices in my head are telling me to stop It's all I have left, all I have of you Thought I was more than a body to hold, baby I wanted you, wanted us to be something more I was so sure, let my guard down for you Baby, why'd you have to love me, love me like that? I gave you my heart you tore it apart Don't know why you had to hurt me Hurt me like that Cause now I'm messed up Drinking non-stop Just trying to forget you And everything we said But I can seem to get these thoughts out of my head Baby, why'd you have to love me? Love me like that Hi you guys And this is going to be added to my first week in the life as a pediatric nurse practitioner just because the days i trained on um monday tuesday wednesday yes because i went out of town on thursday so i trained on monday tuesday and wednesday with one of the providers at the other urgent care location and then this week starting tomorrow i'll be by myself um there's usually just one provider um that gives care because we're only open for augmented um hours meaning that we're not really like a full day type thing so it's enough that only it is sufficient that there's only one provider there but seeing kids at a time seeing kids at one time but anyway y'all know i still can't explain these things <laughs> Which is why I don't even know how I became a YouTuber explaining things about nursing, but I try my hardest I, I, I guess I try I, I do enough for you guys to stay around anywho <laughs> My goal is not to be long-winded this year um, Make sure you first of all go watch um, I'll link both of the family weekend vlogs here. I just finished editing those We just came back from Orlando yesterday, and we had so much fun which is why I'm so tired oh, but I um am you know I got to put my little diary entry in diary entry whatever day of the year this is <laughs> because I wasn't nervous last week um everyone's like you're gonna do good you're gonna be fine I mean I really wasn't nervous 
because I was just learning charting. So I was with the provider seeing the patients, but she was just showing me like how she charted on the patients and things like that. And tomorrow I'll be by myself, me and the MA in the office, or hopefully it's two of them if we've been. Cause the office that I went to yesterday, we had an MA and a, sec, uh, a front desk clerk, a front desk um, girl. So I hope we have two because We've been busy and I need them to work up the patients um, fast. Um, Cause I don't want people to get mad and angry. But anyway, yes, so that was my little spiel. Um, I am getting ready to um, go over um, my spreadsheet that I created when I, while I was in school on the diagnoses that I saw, the signs and symptoms of how that condition presents how I would treat it, the education that I would give, and yeah, so on and so forth. And then I wanted to say one more thing. What else did I want to say? Oh, so after my day in the life of a COVID nurse and my day in the life of um, first day as a pediatric nurse practitioner drop, I will be back to my week in the lives. Comment down below if you guys enjoy my week in the lives. And my week in, my week in the lives will be um, a week in the life of a pediatric nurse practitioner and COVID vaccine nurse. Cause like, as I stated before, which may or may not have seen by now is I am working both as a COVID um, nurse and as a pediatric nurse practitioner until I am able to find full-time employment. Cause I am working in urgent care right now after hours urgent care yeah so tomorrow I took my braids out if you watch the um, Valentine's Day vlog I'll link that up above too and the family vlog I had um, these cute feed in braids that my girl Shawnee did for me and then all I want to say is the weekend of lives are coming back um, now that I'm getting a little bit more settled back at home and a little bit more settled in the new routine um, that I have. That is it. This clip is extremely too long and that means a lot of it's going to get cut and I will see you guys tomorrow when it's time for us to practice on our own. Bye! Hey guys, so here I am going over my common pediatric complaint spreadsheet that I created last January 2020 and I just wanted to kind of look over and see what type of patients I saw when I was back in clinical at the urgent care. And then next up, you're going to see me download and purchase the Hippocrates app, which is a medical mobile reference app and it's pretty good. I actually love it and I purchased the full version. Hi you guys and happy, happy Tuesday. I should know that because today's family vlog just went live. Go check it out. First part um, of Maria's family weekend in Orlando. But I was just sitting here thinking like, I was so sad that last week I didn't really vlog. I think I already explained that. Um, because I was just learning a new charting system that the um, practice um, purchased. So today, today for real, is my very first day independently as a provider. And once again, if I said I wasn't nervous, I would be lying. So I was just getting ready. I was pulling out my stuff. Um, and I was just going to show you guys what I was packing. Not much really, just my computer. And then this pediatric guidelines for nurses. You guys know I love this Beth Richardson book. I've mentioned it time and time again. Um, even though I also showed you that I purchased the full Hippocrates and I also use Medscape as well. And those are two apps that I used quite a bit when I was in nursing school as well. If I needed like a quick reference um, and I didn't want to flip through this book. So um, that's what I'm packing. Oh. Oh my God, one of my classmates didn't pass boards. Oh. I'm glad I got all my official, like my license and my certification, because right now I'll be like, oh my gosh, should I really pass boards? Oh my gosh, anywho. Um, oh, my stomach. Anywho, and some scrubs as I was more at clinical. I actually want to go get a few more pair of scrubs and I'll take you guys with me when, you know, 
I'm back to film my weekend of lives. We're gonna go get some more scrubs. Just, you know, uh, let's get ready for work and I'll see you when we get to the office. Here's to the first day of the rest of my life. <laughs> Y'all know I'm dramatic, but this is it. This is it. I'm gonna prescribe my first prescription tonight. I'm gonna to see my very first patient on my own tonight. I'm gonna to chart on my by myself for the first time tonight. If I cry, y'all, I am a big cry baby if you have yet to figure that out. But I feel like I'm going to cry, so I'm going to try not to cry, and I'm going to not record it if I do. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not going to do y'all like that because y'all want to laugh at me crying too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know y'all don't laugh, but I feel sick right now, and I, I, I need to eat, but I, I don't want to eat. But the lights change. Let's go. If you're thinking about It's just you and me We're just strangers So don't hold me back You're not allowed to spend my time My time Cause that is what you came here for Oh panic attack right now I'm about to go into the building you better go into the building and you look very foolish <laughs> I'm about to go into the building look look at my sister call me foolish cause I'm nervous <laughs> oh my gosh It's the same thing. Just imagine Dr. Smith there hiding in the corner. Okay. She better have her phone on. It's literally the same thing. I know. I mean, same thing, same building, same people, probably same patients, because I've seen some of the same patients over and over for the last year. <laughs> okay. Oh, I was about to look at that text so I can get the code so I can get in. Okay. Gotta go in here and get Okay, I'll call you once I get settled in. Alright. You could do me like that. Give me some space, I don't care what you do. I'ma go in now. I'ma go in now tonight. I'm gonna leave. It's now 11.20, we close at 10 and I'm just now leaving, or not even leaving, like I'm just now walking out to my car, I guess I should leave that back on. <sighs> um, 
so I I don't even know how many patients I saw and and then I had a student today too an MP student um, she really helped by you know being there and you know seeing her um Just like if you wouldn't have told me it was your first day, I would have never known it was your first day. So it's just nerve wracking. Like everyone's like on you. Like I've been having to talk to the pharmacist because I couldn't e-scribe. I was having issues with my e-prescript um, e-prescriber mode, and I um, having issues with my e-prescribing um, mode and so I had to write out all of the prescriptions that I needed to prescribe today which kind of slows me down when you're learning a new system and you know patients you know they they want you to move and so I don't know I'm just I'm really just like shaking right now like oh and I have to go to my COVID job in the morning and I won't probably won't get home until like 12.30 and I have to be back up at five for that. Um, I really should, probably should have just taken off this first week from that job till I got settled in here. But, um... I don't know, I'm just a little shaken up because, you know, urgent care is a little bit, I mean, and it, I, I know the pace of it because I've been here four years as a student, but it was just like, I don't know, like I'm by myself. And so, I don't know, I have anxiety really bad. If you guys have not figured that out by any of my nurse practitioner logs, I have really bad anxiety, but um, yeah, so, I'm just happy that my first day is over because now my my mentor, I've been calling her. First of all, we talk every day anyway, but I talked to her a million times today and then she was like, you made it. You're no longer a beginner, Eric. Yeah, I'm just a really emotional person in general. But, um, I had to make sure the building, everything was locked and that everybody got out okay. I don't know, it's just, I knew I would have this responsibility, but now that I have the responsibility, I think it's really now, I'm really now understanding. So, I don't know. I, I did okay. I saw the patients. I know what I saw. I know how to treat them. I don't know. I just was nervous. I was just so nervous. And yeah, I don't even know, like I said, how many patients we saw. I'll tell you guys tomorrow how many I saw today. Um, I really would like to have known. Oh, did I write them down? I don't think I wrote them all down. Um, oh, I did a well child exam, adult COVID, facial cellulitis, fever, um, acute otitis media is what it was, rash, vomiting, upper respiratory infection, acute asthma exacerbation. I treated her in the office and sent her steroids. And when I treated her in the office, because she sounded diminished, she opened up for me after I, um, we gave her treatment, a knee pain. Um, so I don't think I saw 15, maybe like 10 or 12. It just felt like more because the first hour no one came, no one came in. And then now like they all came in at the end. But okay, let me just get home. Today was my official first day. Um, it was busy, so I couldn't, you know, vlog as much, but, you know, whew, okay, let's get home, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for my second day, um, you know, as a provider. <laughs> I be, I be shaming myself. I be looking like, who shot John? I forgot to kill. <laughs> Name that movie. Anywho, 
Ooh, I just left my COVID job. It is 1600, actually 1618. And I think like there was one more car that was being registered. They had to come through and get vaccinated. We had to, we had 20, 2800 appointments that we did today. So yeah, that's sad. Um, so now on to be a pediatric nurse practitioner and hopefully I am less nervous tonight since it is night two on my own. And one second while I pull up to Panera. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I don't have, uh, yeah. Yay. Thank you. Same to you. The urgent care I go, because that's what this vlog is. If you're interested to see what I'm doing as a COVID vaccine nurse, be sure to check that vlog out. I have no idea in which order that this will be uploaded in, but it's either come. My car does not like anything being near her, but um, it's either um, posted or coming. One of the two. Um, but yeah, so on to the urgent care. I do have the student again tonight, and I have two inmates at the front, and so that is really, really helpful. So, ooh, y'all can't see me at all over there, but let's get up out of here and on to the urgent care. We go, and I will see you guys at work. Oh, yes, I'm going early because, um, one of my issues that I was having last night was I couldn't e prescribe um, any prescriptions, so I had to hand write all the prescriptions that I needed to send for uh, my kiddos. So that was annoying. Anyway, leaving the stadium and headed to her. First of all, can we just say how thankful I am to my mom for this backpack because it literally has a million trillion compartments for every single thing I need. We came in early, I'm really early today. First of all, let me go use the bathroom because I've been drinking a lot of water. I, I've just been having so many issues logging in. Anyway, let me call these people so that I can get access to my e-scribing because what I won't be doing is writing prescriptions by hand tonight. <sighs> get all my stuff out too. So I wanna make sure I close out all my charts yesterday, make sure I did my complete charting and billing for my kids, get my e-prescribing um, access permission, and let's see how many kids we saw. I'm gonna have to start coming early because I don't like like having to jump right into work when I get here. You know, let's set up this location. Okay, let's change our location. Eleven. I didn't think I saw fifteen. I was like, I thought like between ten and twelve, and it was right in the middle. Eleven. <sighs> diagnosed. I diagnosed pain in the knee, allergic rhinitis, acute upper respiratory infection, asthma exacerbation, fever, vomiting, contact derm, contact dermatitis, cellulitis of the face. Um, we did. An adult COVID screen, a child COVID screen, and a well child exam. So those are all my kids I saw yesterday. That first hour, we didn't see any kids my first hour. I saw all 11 patients in the last two hours. So I didn't see any of the first two hours. I saw all the last two hours just shooting my head. So y'all could just imagine how busy it was. Um, back to back to back to back. Like I just kept hearing the doorbell go off. Kept hearing the doorbell go off, but anyway, once again, I do everything that I don't want to do, which is ramble, and I'm exhausted. I ramble when I get tired. Never mind, it's never the call. They will ask for the, okay. All right, let's call. So I can get Thank you for calling it. Spirit Equine Support, this is Alan. How can I help you? Hi, yes, I am a new provider and to get um, e-prescription um, permission. It won't let me prescribe um, prescriptions through the computer, through the system. <laughs> Here, 
Have you already made it through credentialing? Yes, I already have um, my license, my certification, and my MPI number. Yeah, we don't have any of that in our program over here for your provider account yet. MPI number is one. The license number? Let's see. My APRN license number is. I just started my new job, so all I have a bunch of documents, and it's. No, that's okay. Actually, I'm looking you up right now in the MPI directory to see if I can find it there. Perfect. And then my license number, if you are ready. this week <sighs> so I forgot to check in last night because my battery went dead I actually my battery went dead at the beginning of my shift and I was super tired when I got home because I'm working both as a COVID vaccine nurse as you guys know and as a um, part-time nurse practitioner but last night was so much no but for real <laughs> <laughs> the lights went off, the music come on, so I cut the car on. But yesterday was better because I didn't get slammed with, um, oh, I need to get something real quick. And we're back. I didn't get slammed at the last minute with um, patients. They all came in steadily through, our entire, through my entire shift. And I only saw eight patients yesterday. And we saw, what did we see, you guys? We saw... I ain't doing none of that today. Anywho, vomiting, vomiting, <laughs> rash, COVID testing, suspected UTI, which I did prescribe back from for allergic rhinitis, bacteria, conjunctivitis, um, a possible nursemaid's elbow, which was just like a little injury. It wasn't like a, a sprain or a fracture. He could move his arm and he was fine. And um, urticaria hive. So that's what we saw. I had my prescriptive authority, so I did not have to physically write prescriptions. I could send it through the computer. And yeah, um, hopefully today is better. Not hopefully, today will be just as good. I just want to do a quick check-in before we went into work today and I will hopefully be able to show you um, you know do a little bit more but I'm so I'm so happy that yesterday was better so I just have hopes that you know um, as I continue to practice more see more things on my own I'll feel more comfortable um, and I, one of the um, one of my pearls of um, today is to let you know that even when you're done with school you're never done learning you're never done staying on top of um current practice guidelines especially with this COVID thing so i need to um make sure i have like a good um the cdc saved because i want to make sure i'm up to date on what the new guidelines are as far as quarantining what to do if you test positive and you're symptomatic symptomatic what to do if they test positive and they're asymptomatic like um, guidance do I need to give them because I mean unfortunately it's just like any other virus that we see doing cold and virus season even though this is an atypical virus because we've seen it throughout every season I guess flu is the same way you can get flu whenever now but um, it's just like a virus that's at this point I guess there there's the vaccine but there is nothing that I can give you prescriptive wise that can make you better it's just all supportive care so I just want to stay on top of the guidelines 10 days 14 days 7 days whatever however many days that you need to quarantine so I need to call actually let me call I need to call and change our dinner reservation right now I'm thinking about it and yeah let's get to work 
Over so, as you can tell, I am typing away there. I am preparing for today's Pit Monic webinar. I hope you guys have registered. It is later on today, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'm giving away one year free Pit Monic subscription. And I am also sharing my top five tips on how to successfully pass and master nurse practitioner school. And now, as you can tell, or <laughs> as you see, I am prepping. A patient had just walked into the building. I'm getting my otoscope covers, my tongue depressors, and I am getting ready to go in, I think, and see the first patient of whatever today is. <laughs> so, yeah, um, continue watching. And what you see there is the medical assistant. She had just worked up the next patient and she brings me the charts and she sits them next to my computer. And I know when I come out of that room that I'll have another patient to go see in another room. So yeah, I'm getting ready to look at this chart to see what came in. I'm going to sit down and send in any prescriptions um, for that patient that I just saw and then go in to see my next patient. Aha, door slam to figure silly. Come on, say, is this over? Is this over? Is this over? Can this be over now? be over now. Is this over now? Is this over? Is this over? Can this be over now? Say, is this over? Hey, say, is this over? She was so nice to me afterwards. I was like, I'll take you home. <laughs> She's so sweet. The little girl. Yeah. I like her shirt. <laughs> you heard them? They was all over me and my little, oh my gosh, is that door? <laughs> huh? Right, ma'am. I'm sorry. I'm setting the alarm at 9.59.59. As you can see, me and the MAs were talking about patients who would come at the last minute. But um, I'm sitting there charting on the last patient that I had just saw. I did my first incision and drainage, which is an IND of an abscess that this cutie pie patient of mine had on her I forget which ear but it was on the tragus of her ear um and yeah I did my first procedure independently and I was so freaking excited but yeah I um did the procedure had to prescribe her some antibiotics and here I am just getting ready to finish closing up my chart so that we can go
focus. There she is. Where's my tripod? Let me get my other tripod. One second. Back. Feels like I'm a student again, right? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out my Week in the Life vlogs as a pediatric nurse and nurse practitioner student. And oh my gosh, so my first week all by myself on my own, diagnosing, prescribing, seeing patients. It started off a tiny bit rocky, but hunty, your girl rocked out tonight. So what did we see? We saw eight pa nine patients tonight. So I saw nine patients, eight patients. In my first, very first night by myself, I saw 11 patients, which was cray cray. I already told you guys that they all came in the last two hours. But anyway, so tonight, tonight, tonight. Actually, I'm going to start with my last patient because her and her brother were so freaking cute. So she had a preauricular pit um, near her um ear her tragus of her ear and um it developed an abscess it was kind of warm and tender to touch so i did an ind which is an incision and drainage of the abscess and nothing but blood came out um but she was so cute she gave me the biggest hug afterwards but when i first walked in her her brother was like screaming like oh my gosh we love your your top that's dory that's nemo they were the cutest but we saw allergic rhinitis oh really bad eczema flare-up um acute otitis media i COVID tested uh, a mom and two kids um a cough um which just needed a note to go back to school because she had been out all week because of the cough and the runny nose and then allergic rhinitis and upper respiratory infection so those are all my patients to end for the night and the, um yeah <laughs> Y'all, y'all, y'all. My first week is over, like Dr. Smith says, it's done, it's under my belt. I am now officially a pediatric nurse practitioner. I'm officially an advanced practice provider. Like, I've been signing prescriptions and signing lab orders and ordering labs and ordering this and doing this, doing that. All my hard work has paid off and this is just the beginning because as you guys know, this is just a PRN part-time gig for now. I am still in search of a full-time gig um, and in the meantime, in between time, I will be working as a COVID vaccine nurse. I just wanted to close out today, vlog. I'm so, so glad because I was like getting worried. I was getting really worried like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Like I was just nervous and scared and afraid that you know I don't know I don't know what I was afraid of like because if I don't have the answers it's okay to say hey listen I've never seen this before or you know let me get the answer you know let me phone a friend and that's one of the one of the most important things I wanted to stress to you guys is that Yes, I, I'm done with school. Yes, I you know I got my license and my certification, but I am a novice. And you know you don't see everything in clinical. And they there's I mean y'all saw how big the Burns book is. Like it's impossible to master everything in school. So you know you master it as time comes along and you're always learning so that's the most important thing i want to stress to you guys that you're always learning you're going to have to always stay on top of your education um go to conferences get the um those medical journals nurse practitioner journal nurse practitioner journals sign up for reputable sites um your organizations um organizations like your nurse practitioner organizations for me mine is the nap nap um national association of pediatric nurse practitioners so you know just making sure you're staying on top of current practices that are happening now current guidelines and making sure you are fostering a, a mindset to where okay what am I gonna you know make sure I know and learn this week or you know brush up on and that's what I encourage you guys to do in your downtime your downtime at work or just at home in your home life if you can you know making sure you're doing education reading articles and things like that so I got along with it and anywho I'm y'all know I'm long with it by now so <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not apologizing no more. <laughs> But anyway, as always, thank you guys for coming along. Janine's nurse practitioner journey. <laughs> you already know what I'm about to say. You already know what to do. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you leave any comments you have down below. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you tell a friend. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Woo! And I will see you guys next week in the next video. I'm gonna let you go.